Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the weekly recap for the week of, I'm just going to estimate the 20th, September 20th, something like that. So MicroCloud Hologram on Friday closed at 28 cents. It was down just 2%, so it's holding steady before the reverse split. Okay, I'm going to just move the microphone a bit closer. And the day's range was 26 cents to 30. Uh, so it did spike around 11 a.m. And the volume was about average, above average, 48 million. And we have no news yet, as, as at least that I can notice, for Hollow. And Bitcoin has been up lately. It was uh, at 90,000, I believe, Canadian, or just under 90,000. So it's looking to be to go down again to 70. That's just the the ups and downs of Bitcoin going fluctuating between 70 to 90. Okay. Uh, Server Robotics was up 11 percent uh, on Friday between 776 to, to 932. So you can see that price action there it was actually at uh, two dollars in June and then it went down to about seven dollars and now it's going back up and the volume for that was about half the average but it's still up so that's interesting some interesting news pieces Brian Williams is going to anchor election night coverage on Amazon Prime which to me signals the death of cable television uh, I don't know anybody who really pays for cable anymore I feel like the the majority of people are just streaming, um, so I think you can anticipate cable companies going bankrupt, in my opinion, if they aren't already. NVIDIA, let me just look at this news piece. Okay, so in regards to NVIDIA, they are investing $250 billion, and they are estimating in this article the AI business could be worth between one to two trillion dollars over the next decade. I think that's actually lowballing it. I think it could be worth more than that. In, in all honesty, uh, AI really is the future. Besides crypto, uh, and Nvidia will probably dominate it. I know that's not saying that in this article, but my feeling is it will. Uh, they have the most advanced chips, and everyone's going to them. No one, they're not going to the other companies as 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 much as they're going to Nvidia. Okay, so that's all for that article. Okay, this article is, I think it's going to be historical. It's going to be very significant in the history of human beings and AI. Potentially could be one of the most important decisions because Gavin Newsom vetoes the first bill, the first bill aimed at regulating large-scale AI. So basically... The bill is saying, uh, let me read it, Safe and Secure Innovation for Frontier AI Models Act would require safety measures from companies that spend more than $100 million to train AI models. It aims to prevent potential harms by AI, such as mass casualty events, so human beings, including implementing a kill switch to completely shut down a rogue model. Gavin Newsom vetoed this, meaning he would rather people die. That's actually what he's saying. I would rather mass casualty events. And he doesn't want to prevent potential harm. So he is a complete psychopath. He's a lunatic. I'm just going to say it straight out. He's a psychopath and a lunatic. He does not know what he's doing. He's completely incompetent. Anyone with a modicum of common sense would say, you know what? This technology is moving a little too fast. We need to regulate it for the benefit of all mankind to prevent potential human extinction. But Gavin Newsom says, no way. I'm insane. I'm a psychopath. Okay, so I think that's all I'll say about that. He has completely lost the mark. He's not even lost the mark. He's completely a lunatic. He's a incompetent lunatic. All right, next. Okay, I'm on the... Uh, subreddit for hollow short squeeze 
And someone brought up this chart uh, displaying the debt to assets. So debt is in red, assets in green, obviously. How can I explain this chart? Uh, I can't really explain it. I'm going to take a, a jab at it and say it looks like, at least to me, it looks like the company themselves will be driving the pump and dump themselves. So I think they will be triggering the catalyst to cause the uh, the stock to rise after the reverse split. I think that's really, they're timing it for that. But I could be wrong. We'll see how that plays out. Okay, one user is posting, I got my package yesterday, the vote package. I live in Canada. I'm not going. It has, I don't know. Well, how can you go? How can you attend? You're going to fly over to Beijing. It's already done. It has everything you want to know about the reverse split and other things. So they could be lying. I take it with a massive mountain of salt. What's going on? I think we're waiting for an update. Let me just read. Okay, so there are no updates. We have to wait this coming week and see if there is going to be a news press release or anything official before the end of the week, before Friday. Has anyone here received the latest post-meeting updates? So everyone's just, we're all asking the same questions. Um, we have to wait. It's all about waiting and seeing right now. I told you this would happen. Oh, this is a YouTuber. Okay, so I'm just going to close this video and say, let, let's just keep waiting. Um, they've kept us in the dark regarding the meeting, what occurred in the meeting, what got voted yes, what got voted no. Uh, it seems to me, my my instinct is telling me that they did complete the vote, and whatever is favorable to the company is what they approved. And I believe a lot of the the ones who had the biggest say in the votes, which are most likely insiders, most likely you know big wigs, the administration of Hollow and so on, they're going to push forward their agenda. So we can look forward to the reverse split happening, number one, so that's good. Um, I don't see them sabotaging that unless they want to just burn their money. They're over, how much million was it? A hundred million US dollars? 108 to be exact. And uh, number two, they want to dilute the, sh the, uh, the stock, introduce more shares in the future whenever they would like to. I don't think they're going to do that immediately. It would most likely be after the reverse split, uh, after their spike that results from the reverse split. So they would wait for that and then dilute the shares once it drops and then rinse and repeat. They want to keep doing this ad infinite, you know, just keep going as much as they can till they can't anymore. And the other uh, measures that they proposed, such as uh, different classes of stock, which would give you a heavier vote, which in my mind, there's really no point because we were kept in the dark for this meeting. So what's the point? You're going to keep us in the dark in the meetings. Why would you even want to buy a different class stock just so you have a, so just so you can have a a heavier weight in terms of your vote? But we're kept in the dark, so it just doesn't seem to matter anyway. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. Let's just wait and see. Uh, hopefully, we hear something before the end of the week. If not, then by the end of next week, I think it should take no longer than two weeks from now. Uh, and I'm very positive going forward. We haven't had any negative news, to be honest. It's, it's simply radio silence, so that's not that's not bad news. It's just you have to be patient. That's that's what it is. The situation is be patient. It'll, the news will be released uh, soon, within the next two weeks, uh, hopefully before the end of this week. Okay, so thank you for your time. Until next time, God bless you all, and God bless your investments, except your, if you're a short seller.